Hello there everybody and welcome to another Nintendo Cup 2003 the format that doesn't exist but we are doing it because we wanted to experience what could have happened and uh, it didn't but there you go these are the Pokemon that I decided to use these are the Pokemon that I have on my reserve so starting things up I have a Crobat with a Choice Band, a Charizard with Belly Drum and the Select Berry and Gyarados with the Dragon Dance and the uh, bulky set with Taunt, so yeah, I'm starting things up strong, offensive, super offensive with a Choice Banded Crobat, and let's uh, find out what uh, what Dreamer has in store for us, so there you go, he is playing around right there, and uh, <laughs> there you go, what is he gonna lead with, he's gonna lead with his Moltres, oh my goodness, we're gonna lead, he's gonna lead with Moltres, I'm like, okay, you know what, damage, I want damage, I don't want anything else, I could have switched into either uh, of my other Pokemon, but, you know, Crobat has a decent special defense. I have no idea what his Moltres is gonna do, but there you have it. There, there you go, just, just Sludge Bomb. Uh, Sludge Bomb is physical this gen, so... My level 55 is Charizard. Um, on my reserve team, my level 55, uh, it was uh, Salamence, but there you go. Anyways, Sludge Bomb, it's gonna do a lot of damage, it's a clean 2 KO. He's gonna go for Sunny Day, I'm like... Mm, maybe he didn't expect me to do all that damage, or maybe he's preparing something in the back, maybe he has a sun team, but... Yeah, he has the sun up, and a second sludge bomb will finish him off, and that's... Uh, that's a huge threat out of the way, Moltres always doing damage. Uh, his level 55 is a Snorlax, brother. That's... You don't want to play games with a Snorlax. Choice Banded Sludge Bomb did absolutely nothing. Body Slam did over half, and he's gonna score the Paralysis, so that means another Body Slam will be able to finish me off. I don't want to take any other attack from my other Pokemon, so I'm just gonna stay in. Uh, he's gonna set up a Curse, and that's no good. I'm like, please, score a Crit or something, a Poison if he doesn't have, uh, whatever, immunity, but I don't know. Uh, it's gonna do way less after that Curse. Uh, he's probably gonna rest now, I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't wanna stay in, I don't wanna switch out, I just wanna stay in, do as much damage again. But, luckily he didn't rest, so that's gonna, uh, leave him really low in health, so, the sun is up. Uh, I was like, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna go into Charizard, finish him off with the Fire Blast. But I didn't count my, uh, sun turns, because it's just gonna end instantly, and that's no good. Uh, at that range, if he has Thick Fat, he's gonna take my Fire Blast. And he does have thick fat, and he's basically that's gonna allow him to survive. But Charizard is gonna take that attack like a pro, boost his speed with the Salak Berry, be in blaze range. We don't care about Belly Drum, we're just gonna earthquake at that point. And uh, we have the blaze ready for his last Pokemon. I don't know what his last Pokemon is. What is your last Pokemon, Dreamer? Let's find out. And it's Ash's Lover, which is Meganium. He gave Meganium another chance, but Charizard was on fire. No pun intended. Fire Blast, Scorched, Al Carrer. That's Vundaba. Critical hit to end the game. Totally didn't matter, but game one is gonna be for us, so. Can Dreamer make a comeback? Let's find out. Uh, we're gonna be changing our teams. Uh, he still doesn't know that I have a Gyarados. So if he somehow forces game 3, that's gonna have the surprise factor. I know in Nintendo Cup, the official Nintendo Cup, Nintendo Cup you actually show your whole team uh, to your opponents before the bell starts and you pick 3, but we like it this way because in my opinion, team preview just ruins the experience, and uh, I love the surprise factor, and that's just something that Gen 5 ruined, but I still like Gen 5. It's better than what we have these days, but that's besides the point. Game 2 is about to start. What is gonna happen? Let's find out. What will Dreamer have in store for us? The hype is real. I'm intrigued. Are you guys intrigued? Let's find out. So, I have a Duck Trio this time, and I also have a, a Mill Tank, the Tank making an appearance in Gen 3, and I, of course, have a Salmon. So, Swampert's lead, I'm gonna curse. I have no idea what this, uh, what this Swampert set is, but I'm just gonna curse, instantly. I'm just gonna boost my defense and my uh, attack, and uh, hope for the best. What is the Swampert gonna do? Uh, named Quagsire, because Quagsire is obviously the original Swampert, but that's besides the points. There's the curse. He's gonna go for a uh, Hydro Pump, and he will miss, because this Mill Tank was trained by Piccolo! 
he learned how to dodge so i'm gonna be able to set up another curse so i'm at plus two now plus two attack plus two defense he's gonna miss another hydro bomb that's insane so after that he's gonna be able to hit his hydro bomb because you know three misses would have been crazy plus two body slam will actually do less than half that shows you how much of a beast swampers is but uh, middle tank is crazy it's also gonna score the paralysis go for another body slam he's also gonna get fully paralyzed dreamer's luck has run out it's confirmed at this point all that luck he got in the past it just ran out because it was too much this could have had happened at some point eventually so anyways mill tank looking strong he's gonna send in his uh, aggron unfortunate i don't have the earthquake here i'm gonna go for another curse he's gonna go for the mega kick uh non-stab attack but whatever so mill tank are you gonna how much damage are you gonna do with the body slam another mega kick will do uh nothing absolutely nothing body slam won't do anything even at plus three but at least we scored the paralysis which is good so i was like okay i'm just gonna milk drink uh have this mill tank healthy and then i will switch out and uh, after switching out we'll just i don't know see how it's gonna go i'm gonna switch into salmas get an intimidate so i can get less damage from this uh Agron. maybe he's gonna get fully paralyzed maybe he's gonna miss his mega kick let's find out there's the mega kick and it's a one hit ko because he scored a crit did i say that dreamer's luck has run out i was wrong never count him out never ever ever now i'm gonna send him my trap dog trio you cannot switch agron you are trapped and uh, the sad part about this is that i'm gonna be locked into earthquake and i really don't know who is your who is his last pokemon it could it could be something that is immune to earthquake and that's probably gonna allow him to set up or and change the whole game so let's find out he sends in a dragonite get yourself a dragonite he's listening to my advices and that's really bad this is what i was fearing and it actually came out to be true so uh, I was like, yeah, he's gonna Dragon Dance, I have to run instantly into my mill tank. And, uh, yeah, just uh, curse up. Uh, plus one Dragonite. Uh, I don't know if I should have cursed or used Body Slam and tried to finish him off with my Dug Trio, because I think even at plus one speed, Dug Trio could have been faster. Maybe I should have just Body Slam right here, but... Ah, whatever, misplay, I believe. I think this was a misplay, but... I don't know calcs, plus we are not at level 100, so things tend to do more damage. Yeah, that was definitely a misplay on my part. But let's see what Dreamer is gonna do. He's thinking about this because this this is serious at this point, you know? This is serious. This move will decide the outcome of the battle, in my opinion. So, let's see. Dreamer, what do you have in store? He's gonna go for the hidden power, but it's not gonna do anything because apparently it wasn't hidden power flying. It wasn't hidden power flying dreamer. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? So he's gonna dragon dance again, plus two. But yeah, I'm gonna curse up one more time. So Mill Tank is just gonna be able to seal the deal at this point because what can Dragonite do? Never counts down a Dragonite. There's the thunder. It's gonna do a lot of damage because it's a Dragonite and you also have to get yourself a Dragonite every time but Body Slam from the Mill Tank. Yeah, that's uh, to AKO. Can Mill Tank survive another Thunder? But we guys, we we forgot that this Mill Tank was trained by Piccolo. He dodged another Thunder and the uh, Mill Tank will be able to finish off the battle. Good game, the Game Dreamer. Stay tuned for more. Looking forward to more of this format. I enjoy it a lot. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Have a wonderful day and allons -y.